The Stoa is a digital campfire where we cohere in dialogue about what matters most at the knife's edge of what's happening now. All right, everyone, welcome to the Stoa. Still is a place for us to cohere and dialogue about what matters most at the knife's edge of this very moment. And I'm Peter Lindbergh, the steward of the STOA. And today we are very, very lucky because we have my new friend, John Thompson, uh, here today uh, from Circling Europe. And I've been plugged into the circling scene for a while now, friends with uh, Taylor Joe here in Toronto, friends with Guy Sangstock. Um, and I've been hearing so much about this John Thompson character, and then the whole Circling Europe crew, uh, and the, how they have their own kind of you know, their own version of circling. That sounds very delicious. So I'm very um, grateful that uh, John and I connected, and that he's here today at the Stoa. So how today is going to work? Um, we're just going to record kind of the intro portion uh, of it, and then we'll probably stop. I think maybe at the 10 minute mark, and John is going to lead us through a series of exercises. Um, I, I guess he'll, he'll, he'll use his discernment if we're going to go in breakout rooms or not. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to add. So that being said, I will tag you in, my friend. That was kind of like a violent tag, and so I, I apologize if uh, how that landed. <laughs> it's landed, landed well. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. In. Uh, it's really nice to be here. I'm excited to share this practice with you all. And I'm excited to um, come on the Stoa and connect this practice with the high quality sense making that's happening on this channel. To give you a bit of my background, I've, I've been really passionate about circling for the last 10 years and me and my best friend, once we learned about it, we just practiced it and practiced it together. And after a few years, we got invited to lead somewhere. And um, there was something about the fact that we'd just been doing it nonstop for a few years that really touched people. And we got invited to lead it all over. And we ended up quitting our jobs that we had loads of ambition in and following this kind of movement to share circling around the world. And after a few years of leading it, this thing happened where we just we kind of had the group back together again and we were about to um, do the next thing. And we, we just looked at each other and like, we, we just couldn't, we couldn't do the thing that we were meant to do. And we're like, shit, what, like, it doesn't feel right to speak. So we just stayed quiet. And the reason for that was there was just this palpable group presence. And we were just like, wow, we, we need to listen to this. We need to just listen and go into the unknown from here. And that was the birth of this thing that we named Surrendered Leadership, which was a few years. We didn't come up with a name until a few years later. And uh, it's been a, a crazy, beautiful ride. I see Rob on here. He stopped in in one of our workshops in New York about five or six years ago, I think, when Guy was there with us. And we've, sh we've kind of been deep in the trenches of this, this practice, which for me is very much about getting into the territory. And that's what I'm excited to share with you guys of like, hopefully there'll be some awesome sense making comes through all of this, but also we're really going to get into the territory together and hopefully get some kind of aha, aha moments and experiences of so many of the things that this channel speaks about. And it was a couple of years ago with, with Rebel Wisdom coming out and me hearing about sovereignty and all all these things, emergence, collective intelligence. I was like, this is what we've been doing for seven years. Wow, there's other people out there like talking about this thing. And they're like, yeah, coherence, it's, this, is, this is where it's at. And I was fortunate enough to do a collective intelligence um, experiment with the Rebel Wisdom guys last year. And that was super cool, like a bridging of these different worlds. So that has me stoked to be here as well to kind of, because I think there's a lot of crossover between what we do and, and this awesome sense-making. So, I was gonna say something else, but I've forgotten. I think we'll just dive in. You, you will need your video on 
from now on because it's going to be experiential and practice based um, yeah I remembered the thing that I was going to say a final bit of kind of context around this we would so we were doing this practice called surrendered leadership and what we would find after a group got quite into it was that we would suddenly witness this thing that was like collective intelligence and we had never we didn't really have a reference point for collective intelligence we hadn't read anything on it but we were just like ah oh, like collective intelligence just seems to happen that was the emergent property of of surrendered leadership and since then i've learned a lot more about collective intelligence and but still that's that's the way i hold it as that somehow through doing these kind of presencing practices and like exploring what's here and exploring what connection is like between us somehow when we do that and we surrender into the unknown often what emerges out is some kind of collective intelligence that we couldn't have we couldn't have pre-planned or we couldn't have like had any idea of how to plan this beforehand so with no further ado i'd like to give you a first practice and i will put you into breakout rooms for this um peter i need